Hi, this is Mike Williams, United Volleyball Supply, VolleyballUSA.com. Today we're here to show you how to set up our PBN4 volleyball net with steel cables top and bottom onto our Munson slider net system. So when you get your PBN4 out of the box, you'll notice that the top line is thicker than the bottom, so we'll need to use the bigger U-bolts um, on top, the smaller ones on the bottom. For the sake of the video, we've gone ahead and done the top and bottom on one side, and then when we get to the other side, we'll get to the top of the net tight using the crank, and then on the bottom, we'll get up close and show you how to use the U-bolts and how to make those loops. So once we have the anchor side or non-wench side set up, there's two ways to do the top line here. So one way is to use the U-bolts provided. I like just making a loop. Um, it's a little easier to get the net tight, I think, right out of the box. Um, we use um, your U-bolts on this side. They are kind of large, so they get kind of gummed up in the crank. So I like to just use the method of the loop. We're gonna grab inside the winch is a stainless steel tooth. So you're gonna grab that tooth onto the loop of your cable. Once we do that, we will grab the stainless steel winch handle. It is fixed onto the crank for you. That way it doesn't walk away on you. Once it goes a few rotations, it will roll up on itself and hold in place. And there it is. On the back side of the crank that you can't see here, there is a tooth, and that should help as well as far as keeping it in place. I like to hold it slightly just to make sure it doesn't get loose. We won't go crazy tight on this net. We'll just get a little bit of tension on it. Once we have the top done, we we'll use those small U-bolts for the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and release them to there, just holding a thread or two, slide them on the cable. Wherever you use one U-bolt, you need to use another just in case one were to slip on you. You don't have to worry about your net losing tension. So we wanna get as close as we can. We don't need to get too, too close to the end of the dowel or the end of the net here. That way when we go to get our bottom net tension, we have a little bit more ways to pull to get that. Now you see that I've got both of them on there. You want to just kind of hand tighten slightly a few threads. That way the bolts don't fall on you. So now that we got them hand tight, two ways to do this. One of which in the faster way would be to use a socket wrench. And then we'll show you how to use set needle nose pliers. You want to go back and forth a few times getting these as tight as you can. That way again, it doesn't slip under tension. So we'll do these to all four bolts, getting them nice and tight. And again, if you have that socket set handy, that'll be the quickest way. Now we have the made. There's a rope ratchet provided on the bottom line here, and we're gonna just clip it to that bottom cable. It's also connected to the stainless steel eye on the slider hardware. And then once we have it, connecting we'll just pull back and grab tension. Once we have our net at tension you can pull the dowel on top and bottom to help you center your net. This is Michael Williams United Volleyball Supply Volleyball USA showing you how to set up our PBM4 volleyball net with steel cable top and bottom under the Munson slider net system. Thank you.